Hello everyone and welcome to today's video and today we are going to be res Today we're just going to be doing a reskinning tutorial. So yeah. Without further ado, I hope this tutorial helps you and let's get right into it. So first off, you're going to want to find a model that you want to reskin. This tutorial will cover the basics of reskinning. However, I would like to add that there is much more to reskinning than I am going to show in this video. I am going to teach you how to create a blank map, however, not how to reskin on a blank map. That'll be in part two of the reskinning tutorial that I'm going to do here. I'm going to try to keep all my tutorials here as short and as sweet as possible and giving you the most detail I can from the knowledge I have gained from doing it myself and from other people in the community that I'm friends with. Alright, so all those things out of the way, we are going to get into the actual tutorial here. So, first off, you're going to want to find the model that you want to reskin. So, just search it here in Content Manager. If you don't know how to get the Content Manager, just click manage content it will bring this window up exactly like it's up here probably some different assets yeah definitely some different assets because I've downloaded a ton of third party and all that stuff third party stuff in DLS content this is all base as you can see as it it's as indicated by the uh, status there anyways as we've so, that's besides the point. Can't use English today, but let's get into here. Let's get in here and let's do it. So, let's search up a model that I know actually anything would work, really. So, say I want to reskin the Monongahela in Western Pennsylvania. Uh. C40-8W doesn't have skins, multiple skins, so we're just going to want to do Control D when we have it selected. Do that by clicking on the asset, left clicking, then Control D, and then delete that. Go to today, and you'll see new asset and show and explore it'll bring it up and explore and then what you're going to want to do is go into the config first change it to whatever railroad you want for example I'm just going to put here for my fictional railroad the Pittsburgh and Norfolk we're just going to patch it for it. Alright, just X out of that, save, change the name. Also where it says username, just change the name there. Don't worry about the description if you're going to keep it private. Which you, also one thing I would like to mention is you have to keep your reskins of any payware content or any freeware content that you don't have permission to release private it isn't okay to share it among friends I know that sounds ridiculous and just dumb but you know that's the way it has to be for obvious reasons but anyways back to uh, getting off the top of the community drama let's get back into uh, the tutorial here so I'm sorry if I get off topic here I'm trying my best with my first few tutorials here. This is totally off script, so I'm doing the best I can. Uh, Alright, so you're going to want to click on the map one thing. This is going to be for my paint.net users. Uh, for the paint.net users, so just double click on it once you have paint.net installed. I'll leave a link to the site to download paint.net. In the description below so you're this is a payware joint rail locomotive 
comes with the Monongahela and Western Pennsylvania route, one of my favorite routes. But, yeah, what you're going to want to do here, what I do is try to find something in the copy and paste here. Just use the box select tool. I do control C dot that, control C and control V. Move it over using my arrow keys. I'm sorry if you're on laptop. I don't know how to help you. Actually, that won't work. So we're just going to, if that happens, we're just going to do that. All right, so since that technique doesn't work, we're going to want to add a new layer here down your layers tab. And then you're going to want to go and edit the properties of that layer, make sure it's selected, put it to multiply, and set it to black, but make your black just a bit brighter. And then go to your shapes here, make sure it's on rectangle, click once on there to make it uh, filled, and then just draw over that. And adjust the color till you're I'm just going to do a simple patch like this we're just going to put a line through the logo here and type and actually I'm going to just I'm not going to go into there because it is personal information on it, so there we go. We're just going to do the same here, black that all out, draw a line through it, and then we're going to type our railroad's name in here, I'm going to do it in white. I am using a font called Erie Roman, any font that looks good will generally work. This is available on the font.com I'm pretty sure. Just search Eerie Roman. It's a really good font as you'll see here. As I need to go back to the background layer which I can't do so I'm going to have to add a layer here and so I can type over that. So we're going to put Pittsburgh and Norfolk uh, put PNRR on the patch here just put your railroads reporting your fictional railroad or whatever railroads reporting mark on the side of the locomotive PNRR that's perfect we're just gonna put PNRR actually I think it would be more realistic if we make it, yeah just a little bit smaller here PNRR all right, now we're going to want to rotate this 180, go up to image, rotate 180, and it should bring you around to here. So you can do this side. We're going to do the same thing. Drag that down there. Put that right there. Then we're going to want to rotate it 180 again so we can do the logos on the front the logo on the front on the front or back of the locomotive whatever it is we're just going to want to patch everything out with the railroad's name all right so we're just going to take this shape go back down here to our other layer just put a thing there, patch over that, put, go to our layer above it, type PNRR on it, and there we go. So, you have made a simple patch to a locomotive. In the future, I will teach you how to 
do more advanced stuff, make sure you click the X up there and make sure you click save as a TGA. Click yes, click OK, flatten, and then you're back here. So you you always want to check if there's a second map, which there appears to not be, so we're good. Make sure it's named properly. Again, the config file. Right click on the asset, click submit edits. Now submit the edits to that asset. And boom, here you go. Click open, preview asset. And then boom, should look like this. You have successfully done a reskin. Now I didn't skin that, but since it's a patch, it won't be much of a big deal. I think that's a very nice looking patch. And boom, you got another locomotive for your railroad in trains. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more future tutorials and all that good stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you. Bye.